Good morning. Are you for the McDonald's? Excuse me? I, I go, I call by M paper. You M paper for my charging? Um, yeah. Yes. You, you my charge? Yes. Go, I have to get my charge from you. What time is it? Eh, yeah, I, I don't know why. I'm, I got just getting home from last night. This is a little bit early to be calling. I'm actually sleeping. What time? What time can you get the massaging? This is six. It's six forty-five. Do you know what time it is? I know what time. I work night. I got need massage. Okay. Um. How can I help you? Sir? What time can <laughs> you start massaging me? Um. I. I. I start massages at twelve. Do you have opening? Yes. You have opening. You got big opening for me? Yes, I do. For um. Do you start what time for big opening for me? At 12 o'clock, I start, sir. Uh, what are you actually interested in? What kind of a massage? Like you rub my ball? Excuse me? Can you rub my ball? Would I, would I what? Can you rub my ball? Listen, I'm actually I'm not really understanding what you're saying. Do you think that you could actually call back a, a little bit later? And we can set up some, you know, an appointment for you. Well, I call right now because I think you rub my ball. Maybe stick your finger up my... Excuse me, I, I, I think you're misunderstanding, sir. This is, a, I'm, a, I'm a legitimate massage therapist. Are you looking for me legitimate massage? Hey, how much extra for blowjob? Ah, you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> Are we going to get through to Shelly here? As uh, we who knows with this phone system, man? All right, let me try that again. <laughs> You've got big oh, opening? That was, that was great. Yeah, I've got a big opening for you. <laughs> you got to love Dirty Friday. Here we go. Hello? Good morning. I call about the M paper. You hung up on me. Try to get a big massage. Come up. Big hole. Sir, you are obviously looking for something other than what I offer, okay? No, I'm looking for the opening you, you got keep, at noon. If you keep calling me, I'm going to call the police, okay? No, don't do that because you know why? I, why? Got, I got something for you. Your name is Shelly. How do you know my name? Because your boyfriend told us to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on 92.3 KSJO. Shelly, you're on the radio. It's Dirty Friday. Good morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good morning. Are you kidding me? Hey, did we rub you the wrong way? <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Shelly? <laughs> you, you still got that big opening for me? <laughs> oh, my God. Do you do this around the clock? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a little bit early. It's a little early. Uh, you need to get your ass out of bed anyway. I am mortified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Shelly, hold on the line, all right? <laughs> it's 6.52. Good morning, Rich here. Good morning. I'm looking for uh, Rich, please. Yeah, speaking. Can I help you? Hi, Rich. I'm calling from the uh, County Sheriff's Department. And I'm calling in regards to a uh, bill that we have passed across our desk from uh, your ex-wife, Kathy, is it? Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, that's my ex-wife. That's your ex-wife? Now, Kathy uh, wrote you up as um, missing, uh, I, apparently we've got some delinquent child support payments here. No, 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 we talked about that. Yeah. Come, you know, I can't believe she did this. You know, we had an agreement. I mean, I've got a new job. I just moved here. Now, yeah, you did, I, I noticed this is a long-distance number. You moved back to New Jersey, according to the report. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I'm, in new, I'm living in New Jersey, but I'm working in the city. I'm working in New York. Uh-huh. And, you know, it's just, Wait a minute. We, we sat and talked. You know, when I moved out here, she agreed that I'd be a little late. I'd pay her a little more. When I got back on my feet. Now, did you and now she's, she's put me into the sheriff's now, office? Now, now, yes, did you put that in writing? Because there is absolutely no mention of this in, in the, uh, the requisition I've got in front of me. Jesus. No, no, we, we didn't have it in writing. All of a sudden, I, I should have known. I should have known that when she was so sweet and so agreeable, that bitch, I can't believe this. I, what, what happens... Well, what, Rich, ha what happens now? Rich, I mean, we've we've got you on file in the county as a delinquent father for child support. Jesus, what what does this mean? Do I need a lawyer? What? I can't believe she did this. Well, we'll be issuing. Yeah, now, you, now you know why. Now you know why I left the bitch. 
God, she's pulling stunts like this. All right, well, what happens to me? Well, Rich, talk, all, all I can say is, well, first off, you owe, what, two months? Yeah. Is that yeah, correct? Right now I'm two months. We made an agreement that I could be, you know, a little late for three or four months. She had enough to hold her over. I was going to pay her extra, you know, once I get back on my feet. And now she, she puts me into the sheriff's office? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Now, now Rich... Do I need to... I need, do I need a lawyer? What's going on? Rich, I, I think the one thing you're going to need to do is, is pay Kathy a little money here to, to get rid of this, uh, this, this late payment. Jeez. So do you have the money to pay her at the moment? Well, I can send her something. I mean, but she, she already took full everything. In total. She got the house. She took the car. She left me just about penniless. Full in total, can you pay her the two months that you owe her? No, I do not have it. Rich, we're going to have to contact your local authority and your local sheriff's department. They may be, um, they may be bringing you back here. I can't believe this and bitch is doing this to me again. Again, she's screwing all right, me over. All right, all right, uh, and again, all right. She's... Wait a minute. i got to find a lawyer. I need, I need some addresses. I need some names. Some... All right, Rich, and we'll be more than happy to do that to you because she's screwing you over again with 92.3 KSJO, 92.1, 92.7. It's Lamont and Tonelli in the Bay Area. Rich! You're on the radio. R Rich, again. Rich, you're on Good the morning. radio. Kathy what do you said mean I'm on the radio. Kathy said <laughs> to give you a call and dick with you. It's not really know. the sheriff's department. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's dicking with you again, Rich. Yeah, well. That bitch is dicking with you again. Uh, <laughs> it's not funny at all. <laughs> Rich, do you have anything Jesus to say to her? Christ. Do you have anything to say to her, Rich? Rich? Oh, yeah, but I don't think I can say it on the radio. <laughs> right. Rich, you hold on, okay? We got a little something for you this morning. I think we got a clear indication that Rich pretty much thinks she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of lost count. <laughs> In the oh, bitch reference department. You bitch. Dirty Friday, getting off to a flying start. Yeah, hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Dave. Please. Yeah, this is him. Hi, Dave. How are you this morning? I'm calling from the... Uh, okay, and I'm calling in regards to uh, some late payments on a lease. L late payments? Yes, sir. Well, so I'm, it's like, what, um, a couple of weeks? A couple of weeks. Well, What's yeah, okay, sir, but this is the second time you've missed a payment. Yeah, well, you know... You, I know you were late on the first one. Yeah, well, I had, and I that had was a reason for that. that. That was a few weeks late, but now you're a clear one month late on this payment. Look, look, I... I got the money. Look, my wife's pregnant, all right? And uh, I got, you know, I got all the doctor bills to pay. I got the money. I'm not going anywhere. Well, sir, I can understand your plight. You may have other things going on, but our I main responsibility, game. Our, our main responsibility is to get the money in for the payment of the cars that we lease. All right, well, two, a couple more, couple more weeks and I'll, I'll have the money. Well, sir, we, we do not have a couple more weeks. What I'm going to have to do is repossess this lease and bring the car back. Oh. And you can work something out with with our our sales representative here at the dealership. Now wait a minute, I'm a salesman. I need the car here. Well, if you're, you're going to take my car, I want my two thousand dollars back. Or at least I'll have that. You well, know, so sir, make sure I pick that up when I bring the car in. Then no, sir. The cap production cost on the deposit is just that. It's a deposit. Yeah, right. Now if so. we repossess the car, you don't get two thousand dollars back. What? No, no, no. I need that money back. I just I got all these bills to pay. I well, give you the sir, car back, you give me the money back. I understand. You're one month late on your lease already. You've been late before. We cannot give camp reduction costs back. The reason we take a deposit in is just for that. It's a deposit. Do I, I'm, I'm going to come down. Who, who, who is this? My name is John Ferskin. Well, let me tell you something, John. You're going to give me that money back. You're going to give me the money back when I come down there. No, John. John <laughs> listen. I, John does not give money back. That's not my department. My department is to make sure that you pay your auto payments you on time. Mother. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Boy, he had every excuse in the book, too, didn't oh, he? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like his wife was pregnant? We, we have got to give him a call back. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was beautiful. I love Dirty Friday. Oh, that was absolutely beautiful. Uh, <laughs> put a temper on that kid. Here we go. Let me call back here. Yeah, hello? Dave, um, please. 
Yeah, this is him. Why, you want to uh, rub it in? Hi, Dave. Yeah, listen, I'm calling. Why don't you cut me off? I'm, I'm talking. Listen, I, I have finished. a tough job. I don't have to listen to, to profanity from people. Hey, I don't have a job if I don't have a car. you you got to listen. Don't hang up on me. Now, listen, <laughs> Dave, the, the, Dave, here, here's the gist of it. The yeah, car, the the yeah. car comes back. Now you can work it out with our sales representative, the one that you you worked in the lease out with. That's fine, but you will not get the cap production cost back. If you want to buy another car, it'll be on another lease. Yeah, with what money? How am I going to buy another car? You don't give me that money back. Well, if you don't have money, how do you expect to make this payment? I'll have money in a couple of weeks. Listen, Dave. <sighs> yeah. Hey, Dave, I understand you may be going through some tough times right now. Yeah, you're not kidding. That's all I talk about. I, 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 Dave, I, Dave. I wish, you know, I have a heart, man. Dave, I, I have the, enough of a heart to tell you that I think you are one big mother. Because it's Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. Oh, you so you're on the air. It's Dirty <laughs> Friday. Oh. The guys at work said to give you a call. The guy, oh, those. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh you guys. You guys stink. <laughs> <laughs> My friends put you up to this? The, the guys at work faxed in your lease agreement the whole bit. They gave us all the details. Oh, those mother... <laughs> I guess he uses it as a uh, term of endearment. <laughs> it must be like a friendly term for him. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. Hello? Good morning. Is Barbara in, please? Uh, I'm Barbara. Hi, Barbara. How are you this morning? Oh, fine. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. This is uh, Phil calling from Tours. Oh! And uh, in regards to your trip to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I was just going to call you guys today. Well, wonderful. Uh, listen, the reason I'm calling is I'm confirmed. It's uh, uh, your flights from San Francisco to Miami. You've, all, you've been set up in the hotel, and we're going to send that out uh, to you FedEx with, with all your airline tickets and yes. everything all set to go, all right? I am so excited about this. I have, I've looked everywhere. This is just such a great deal. Well, we it's, think it is, too. Yeah, 2800 per person, correct? That is correct. Okay. For and, me and my husband. Yeah, and that's per person. Per person, right. Oh, yes. this is so great. He is just the biggest, hugest football fan. Well, I'm yes. glad I'm glad that you're treating your husband to this very special birthday uh, present. Yeah, this is, this is the best Valentine's Day he's ever going to have. Oh, I bet. Now, listen, Barbara, yeah. for the uh, the $2,800, so uh, you're set to fly. We're gonna You're going to leave San Francisco on Friday. Right, Friday, that's the 29th. Uh-huh, and I hope that doesn't create any problems for you. No, no, so I get airfare and hotel and tickets and... Did, uh, what kind of seats are they going to be? Well, uh, Barbara, there must be some kind of misunderstanding here because you don't have tickets with this package. What? No, that, Wait that, a minute. No, when I talk to you, I... I no, Bar Barbara, Barbara, the, the package includes airfare and hotel, and if, if, you, if you read... Uh, if, you, if you read the fine print there, does, this does not include tickets you, to the game. You told me. I mean, that's the whole point of going, though. Well, no, this is a Super Bowl package, but it does not include Super Bowl tickets. So what am I going to do then? I mean, how am I going to... How much extra? Can you get me tickets? Well, Barbara, I, what, I mean, I, what I recommend doing is talking to ticket brokers, but I will tell you, I know for a fact, tickets start at an extra $1,200 per ticket. What? For the game. But you said twenty eight hundred was was the whole thing, though. Well, the whole I, thing, travel and hotel. It, it, uh, hotels are very expensive for the Super Bowl weekend. So, I this is this I. So what am I going to do? I mean, I mean, I. Well, well if, if you want, I'll give you the number for a good ticket broker. But once no, again, I, I know for a fact. Get the tickets for me because you said you were going to get the tickets for me. No, we said or, we had a Super Bowl package for you. Yeah, but package means everything. None of you read you know, the fine print. I can't read all the fine. You know, I. You know, I think I'm gonna. Oh, what am I gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna call the Better Business Bureau. This is a big ripoff. Well, no, Bar Barbara. I've Barbara, already, how is it being you know, a ripoff? You're pay. You're getting a great weekend in Miami for Super Bowl weekend. Yeah, but but the whole point is to go to the game, and it's twenty eight hundred bucks. What to just go to Miami? Well, sure. Hotels are very expensive for that weekend and airfare. It wasn't in there. How much is a hotel? Well, the, ho the hotel is setting you back $175 a night. So you what take am I a look tell at... my husband? I mean, we've already got the babysitters and all this stuff, and 
I can't afford an extra. What did you say the tickets were? It would probably be starting at $2,400 for the two of you. You know, you guys are just... This is a big rip-off. I mean, it's just not fair. I, I want my money back. Well, ma'am, you can't get it back. You've already put your deposit down. Well, deposit means... No, I want my money back. Well, Barbara, maybe I can give you this. What? The high hard one. It's Lamont Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. It's Dirty Friday. Your sister-in-law, Kim, sets you up. You're on the air. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be popular sentiment around here this morning. <laughs> Barbara, what? Barbara, don't worry. You've got your tickets. Yeah, you're going. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, my, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to get that bitch. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, good for you. Uh, nice to see you have a good relationship with your sister-in-law. No. Oh. Not. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Barbara, hold on the line. Hey, Barbara. Hopefully you'll have a good time down in Miami. Barbara, would you do me a favor at the Super Bowl? What? If I give you a KSJO sign to hold up, would you try and get it on TV? Uh, I'll, I'll hold it up nude. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. We'll give you, we'll give you the KSJO deal and, and give, have you wear a T-shirt. You just lift up the shirt and expose your breasts when the camera comes on. As a matter of fact, I have. I hope it's a big sign. I have an open... Why, well, you a big woman, Barbara? Wow. <laughs> Barbara, how large are your breasts? Um, um, real big. You got big cans? <laughs> my husband loves me. <laughs> hey, He'll never Barbara, go hungry. All over. I can't believe it. Barbara, I have an open challenge right now, not only to you, but the rest of the most brutal audience in rock and roll, okay? What? I'm offering $250 if they can get Lamont Antonelli, KSJO, on this actual Super Bowl broadcast. I'll do my best. Okay, then you get a little money back from your trip. If you can get that on the TV screen during the Super Bowl, make up some kind of sign, I'm going to give you 250 bucks. <laughs> sure. I'm okay. Do it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> well, you got to show your breast when you do it, okay? I'm going to get her. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on the line. 827 Lamont Tonelli. That, that goes for anyone else, but it's only to the first person that does it. And I want proof. <laughs> I want a picture of it. I oh, want yeah. a video of it. Well, we'll video tell the me. game. You can't just tell me, oh, that was me. No. <laughs> I got the KSJO on. I want proof. We need proof that it was you if we happen to see something during the broadcast. Take a picture of the sign before the game. I want a picture of the game. Mm -hmm. The whole bit. All right. Hello? Hello, dude. Is Amber there? Amber's not in. Who's, who's this? This is her boyfriend, dude. Who's this? Uh, this is her father, and I wouldn't like you to speak to me as dude. Is this, is this Richard? No, it's Johnny. Johnny, she's at school right now. Hey, dude, you know when she's going to be back from school? No, but if you uh, give me your number, I'll have her call you. Oh, Why man. Are you, at school? are you her old man? Again, Johnny, I'm her father, and I'm not going to allow you to speak to me as my old man. Man, you don't have to be such a prick about this. A prick? Hey, dude. Well, so what time is she getting home from school? You know, I don't think I've met you yet, but uh, we're definitely not starting on the right foot. Why don't you come over here and uh, spend a few minutes with me so I can wash your mouth, you little... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Daddy ballistic. Well, you know what? I may, I may give him a call back and... Say that I'm going to bone his daughter this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. We'll give him we a call. We had no in a indication few moments. that he was going to be a hothead like yeah. that. We will give him a call. Is this Richard? <laughs> no. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Amber. Amber's not in right now. I'm going to take a message. Who's this? Her old fart dad again? Listen here, Johnny. If you ever hang up on my, me again, I'm going to kick your little ass. Hey, okay. now, hey, now listen. Hey, hey where, where's Amber? Is she at school? Yeah, she is at school. Where the hell are you? Well, I'm at work right now, dude. How old are you? 27. You know, I'm sick and tired of all you sick young people. Hey, hey, dad, 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 hey, hey, hey listen. Hey, sir, 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 listen. She's 17 year old. Hey, listen, dude. Can you tell her when she comes home to give me a call? Because I want to I wanna bone her brains out this weekend. You know something? If I could all through this phone line. I kick your little... There he goes again. Okay. Man. <laughs> Pretty protective of his daughter. Well, what would you do if some guy Amber. called and said he wanted to bone his daughter? <laughs> uh, let's give dear old dad a call back. I want to bone your daughter's brains out. Hello? 
Hello, is Amber there? You little fat. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah, you know, listen. Hey, dude. Dude, listen. No, no, I won't do anything. Dude, I'm going to get... Come over here and look Dude, at I'm going to get your daughter in all fours and make her bark like a dog. You little fat. No, no, listen, listen. Hey, dude. Dude. Let me just say it's Lamont Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. You're on the air, bro. It's Dirty Friday. Dad? It's Dad? Lamont and Tonelli. It's Lamont and Tonelli. You're on the radio. Yeah, you're on the air right now, Dad. <laughs> your, uh, daughter, your daughter said to give you a call this morning. Yep. Okay. A Amber wanted to dick with you on Dirty Friday. She said you needed a good start. All right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Talk to Amber. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> He'll talk to Amber. Talk to Amber. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on the line, bro. We're going to take care of you, okay? Dear okay. old dad. His dad doesn't really care for Amber's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. He's got a few older guys calling for him. <laughs> Ugh, I was calling me so early. Good morning. Is Bill there, please? Yeah, this is me. Why are you calling me so early? Hello, Bill. Hi, this is uh, Red Scroden calling from ASS Marketing, and I'm calling in regards hey, to... Do you um, know what time it is? Sir, I'm calling Wait, in regards to a new product... It's in the morning. Sir, what, and, I, I realize that, but sir, I'm calling in regards to a new product... Hey, listen, asshole, do you realize what time it is? It's six in the morning. Can't you call me back at a better hour? Well, sir, we have a brand new clock on the market that we think would be absolutely <laughs> perfect for... <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hold it. Who answers their phone? It's called Bill Back. You know what time it is? <laughs> you know what time it is? Woke him out of a dead sleep. No kidding. I've never answered the phone like that. I'm like, oh, who is this? Oh, she said he is just a, a dick. First thing in the morning. And I think he proved it. Calling Bill back here. Yeah. Good morning, sir. This is uh, Red calling for, again from ASS Marketing. And uh, please. Jesus Christ. Are you mental, man? Are you some kind of asshole? It is 6.30 in the morning. Sir, Why I understand that. you call me that. back at a respectable hour. Sir, I understand that I've got a job to do. Please don't shoot the messenger. We have a number of products I'd like to tell you about this morning. And, uh... Listen, motherfucker. <laughs> Mother Funster? <laughs> well, he knows you're the mother of all Funsters. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's call him back in a moment. Let's let the delay system catch up here for a second. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Bill. Please. Yeah, you can't know me. Anyone who knows me knows not to call this morning. Excuse listen, me, sir? Listen, I drive truck for a living, uh -huh. and I just got back from a long haul. Can you please, for the love of God, call me later? Sir, sir, uh, I'm calling once again from ASS Marketing, and it's very important I ask you these questions concerning our latest product. Listen, I've got to get some sleep. I drive truck all night. I got in really late. Call me later. They better don't even fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and how would you explain that one? Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good, good, good morning, Bill. Hi, Bill Red calling again from ASS Marketing. Listen, are you mental? No, sir, I think you've already asked. No, I'm not mental. I'm calling because we've we've got a product that we'd like to ask you about here. Do you have shit? <laughs> sir, sir, before before you get all mad at me again, I've just got something to tell you. You have the worst attitude I've ever heard in my life. You're kidding. Are you kidding? I'm sleeping at six thirty in the morning. I told you I drive truck for a living. Sir, Bill, the reason we're calling now who's Taylor? Is that your girlfriend? Yeah, why? She told us to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO Radio. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Are you up? Wake up. Good morning. <laughs> you mother. <laughs> well, he has a mouth like a truck driver because he is a truck driver. <laughs> you mother trucker, yeah. <laughs>
Oh, that is beautiful. I love coming in here on Dirty Friday. I, I'll tell you, we're getting off, off on the right foot, <laughs> even if he isn't, for Dirty Friday. 1-800-575-KSJO. Hello? Good morning. Is uh, Gina there, please? Yeah, speaking. Hi, Gina. This is Mr. Johnson calling concerning the uh, potluck dinner this weekend. Oh, yes. How are you? Hi, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm getting everything ready. I'm very excited. Okay, great. Now, I'm just calling to see if you're coming so, so we can get a final head count here. Yes, you can count me in. All right. That's wonderful. Now, now listen, Gina. Uh, and I will be making my usual. <laughs> your usual? Yeah. Your... Come on, you don't know? No, you see, I'm I'm new to the the my, I'm new to this, and I'm just like kind of the last guy in charge kind of thing uh -huh. here. What 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 is your usual? Well, I make lasagna, and uh, it seems that everyone enjoys it. <laughs> All right, Gina. Uh, you see, that's the reason I'm calling this morning. Um, mm -hmm. it seems a number of the parents approached me, and um, they've they've asked that you don't bring anything to the potluck uh, this weekend. Pardon me? Uh, you don't have to bring anything to the potluck dinner this weekend. Oh, well, I'm part of it. I have to bring something. It's part of being potluck. <laughs> well, yeah, Gina, I know that, but uh, there's no real nice way of saying this, and please don't shoot me because I, I barely even know you. My, my child's brand new on the team. Uh, you don't know the number of people that got the runs the last time you brought lasagna to, to a function, according to what I've been told by the other parents. Excuse me? And and the other parents have asked me to ask you not to bring anything to the potluck dinner. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. This is, I mean, I, I cook it for my family all the time. It never happens. Well, uh, well, ma'am, please, if, if you could just avoid I'm bringing... I'm actually a little insulted. <laughs> well, you know, believe you me, my, my purpose is not to insult you. It's just I've been told to tell you don't bring anything to the potluck dinner. Well, is there something else that I can bring? Uh, no, 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 no. We don't want you to cook at all. According to one of the parents, okay. according to one of the parents, the last time they bit into like your uh, your lasagna was like eating a turd sandwich. Who is this? You have to be. I mean, yeah, Gina, this, Gina, this is, Gina, this someone, is like, Gina, someone told me I, the last time they ate your lasagna, the taste in their mouth was like eating a bad. Excuse me. Gina? Did, did I just hear you correctly? Gina? Did, uh, G Gina? Yes. The, the, the I'm other, actually the, quite stunned right now. The, the, the other parents would also like to tell you, including your husband, yeah? Stephen, would also like to tell you that you're on the radio. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO Radio. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, my God. What? Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the air. You're on the air. Oh my God. <laughs> so don't worry. So don't worry. Eating your lasagna isn't like licking a bad. <laughs> Gina, do you have anything to say to Steve? I have more than a thing to say. <laughs> they all like your lasagna. Don't worry. Oh sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sufficiently mortified. Uh, Gina, hold on the line, okay? okay. We'll catch you, we'll with get something. you a little something. Uh, Sully, yes. you, you may want to get on the line there and kind of simmer oh. her down. She doesn't sound like she took it. <laughs> okay. I think she's pretty proud of that lasagna. <laughs> Hello, this is Kevin. Good morning, uh, Mr. Uh... Yes? Hi, I'm calling from the uh, Humane Society of uh, Santa Clara. And I'm calling in regards to your Rottweiler dog. Buffy? Yeah. Yes, it seems your dog got loose earlier on this morning and attacked another dog. And um, we've traced the dog through the uh, dog tag to, uh, to yourself, and uh, we got your answering machine that left the message to call you in case of emergencies at this number. Is this your work number, sir? Yep. Uh, sir, your dog, uh, we're going to put your dog to sleep a little later on today, and we'd like you to come down and sign the papers. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, look, the neighbor, the neighbor kid was over playing with my dog, and he let the dog out, and it ran off. Now, now, the dog was fighting with another dog, and you're going to kill my dog? Sir, your you're, dog attacked another dog. No, you're not going to do this. No, you're not. Your dog you're not. attacked another dog, sir. I don't care if it attacked a policeman. You're not putting my dog to sleep. 
Well, sir, you we had one hair on my dog's head, and I'll sue your ass until I own this goddamn county. Sir, we have the authority. We have the authority. To you, got, you, you better show me a you better show me a judgment. To eliminate your dog, sir. You better show me a judgment. Sir, we and have you the authority. Quit beating that f <laughs> so he said it was a Rottweiler dog. <laughs> Man loves his dog. I've never heard of that breed of dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, the friggin' breed. Is that a German dog? Is that a German dog? It's a friggin' Rottweiler. Hello. Good morning. Uh, I'm looking for Kevin. Please. Yeah, this is Kevin. You're the guy who was just talking to me a minute ago. Why'd you hang up? Sir, listen, I don't have Look, to take language like that. Dog. We've got the dogs down here, and we'd like to perform some euthanasia on the dog. You, now, you if you don't come down buddy, here and fill out the... my dog. If you don't come down here and fill out the papers, we're going to get a court order and go ahead and do it anyway. You go ahead and try to get the court order, and I'll have an attorney sue your ass. Now, now, you leave Kevin, my dog alone. I will Kevin, come, down, your there. Dog I will come is an, down there in the next half hour. But you leave my dog alone. Kevin, your dog attacked another dog and mangled another dog. Well, if now, that is this dog the kind of dog injured, we'll decide whose fault it is. Dog, if there's a problem, your dog I'll was pay running loose. Dog you don't know how to take care of your animal, let sir. My dog go. You don't know how to take care of your animal, sir. It's running well, loose on the streets. This first dog's of all, a killer. You don't know that. Dog. All you know is my dog was let loose because I just told you that. Now, Kevin, there's one other thing I'd like to tell you about your dog. What else? That you're the dog. It's Lamont Tonelli on KSJL. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Your wife Elizabeth sets you up. You know what time I had to come into work this morning? You guys do this. Sh <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Where's the toilet? There it is. There it is. <laughs> I kind of like the dog barking. <laughs> Sully. Yeah. I like that. Just keep on hitting a different sound effect Sensor's every time we flush sound effect. <laughs> Maybe hear a shotgun once, dog yeah. barking another <laughs> time. Sully, innovation. Oh, uh, we are See, the we're always striving to improve the show, <laughs> sometimes by accident. Hello? Good morning. Is Jeff there, please? Um, no, he's at work right now. May I take a message? Uh, is there any way for me to get in touch with him? Well, he's at work right now, and I can take a message if you like. Uh, you just give me the... Just tell me what it's in reference to, and I'll just write it down. He check, He's actually out working in the field, and he... um does call for his messages during the day, so I'll make sure he does get it, so if you could just... So you can't give me his work number or something and I can leave a message myself? No, I mean, it's much easier if you just leave a message with me and then I'll get it. He does call during the day, as I said, and uh, I'll mm -hmm. get it to him. Uh, okay, and, and, and who's this? This is his wife. Oh, my name's okay. Nancy. Um, who is this that I'm talking to? Uh, my name is Bill, and, uh, uh... Well, you, Bill, just tell him to call Bill and, uh, and, uh... Well, and, why don't you just tell me what it's pertaining to, and then he'll know whether it's something he should, you know, oh, he'll call know, during he'll, a lunch oh, break, or... He, oh, he'll know what it's about. Just, uh, just tell him to call Bill, okay? Well, does he have your number? I mean, is this a business, or is this a, a, a friend of his? Oh, yeah, okay, leave this message. There's absolutely no way I can talk to him myself. I Let, mean, okay. I could try and call over at work, but it's just, it's so much easier, and this is how he likes it done. I just basically write down All the right, call. All right, Nancy, okay, Nancy here. Can you tell him to, um, can you tell him to uh, call concerning the dancers for this weekend? Because we want to know what time the dancers should be there on Sunday. What, what the, um, did you, um, okay, so... Wait a second. So what? I don't really understand. But what is your name? Your name is Bill. Yeah, Bill okay. Nutsack. All right. And you have a phone number I can reach you at. Uh, well, well he, he knows what he knows what number to call because you see, he's got the girls booked for half time. And and we don't know what time half time will be, and the girls have other bookings, and it, it could be very expensive if if they're there the whole party. Okay. Wait. So just an approximate time for the strippers to get there. Wait a second. Are you saying that Jeff, do you know whether Jeff, did you speak with Jeff about? Oh, um, yeah. All right. Let me just tell you one thing. There are no strippers coming to my house. And I'm, as I said, Jeff's wife. There are no strippers coming over here. So. Well, no, no, you, no, Nancy, Nancy, I don't know what's going on between the two of you, but Jeff has already booked this and he's guaranteed it on his credit card. Well, just cancel it. Well, I can't because the girls have money coming to them. I'm sorry. So I just want to know, you see, I knew I shouldn't have gone through you. You always have to talk to the person who books it. So if you can please just tell us what time, get a message to Jeff, 
and tell us what time the girls should be there. That would be appreciated. Listen, every purchase goes to the two of us. We are a two-person household. There are no strippers coming to my house. I don't know what kind of arrangements you made, and I don't know what kind of cancellation I have to do with my visa card, but there are no strippers coming to the house. So if the girls want to get other bookings or dance somewhere No, it's else too late go, now. We've already got bookings, ma'am. Well, I'm glad they have bookings, but those bookings are canceled now, so they can just go somewhere else or watch the Super Bowl at home, but they're not coming here. I don't nope. really care what they do. Nancy, Nancy. I do not want any of those girls in my house. There is no way that those girls are coming to my house. None of them. I don't care what. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you don't have to call them that. <laughs> Although you might see that part of them <laughs> at some point during the halftime entertainment. <laughs> if it really gets raunchy. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Jeff, please. Wait a second. Is this a stripper call again? Look, uh, ma'am, I shouldn't be dealing with you. Jeff is the one that booked our girl. Wait a second. I, we worked this whole thing out. I no, mean, we didn't work it out, ma'am. That's it. I mean... We I, didn't work it out. We have a girl. We have a girl. Listen, asshole. We Listen have, to me right we, now. Look, we have a girl booked for your house this weekend. I don't care We've what you have booked. I really don't care. I couldn't care less. I don't care what you do. Just do what you got to do. I mean, I don't care. She's not coming here, or they're not coming here. I really don't care who you have. Listen, we've got the girl here with us right now. She's looking forward to coming to this show. She's going to make about $400 this weekend. Well, she's not going to make $400 here. She can walk out in the street and be a slut for all I care, but she's not coming to my house. You two can screw each other for all I care. I'll be there. <laughs> what? See? She says she's going to be there. We've got your address. Listen, if anyone... are you? I don't know if you're listening to me, because you evidently are not, but... Ma'am, ma'am. Any stripper comes to my house, I swear, I'll call the police. I you will stay call there, the I'm going to show my wee wee. <laughs> what? You stay there, I'm going to show you my wee wee. This funny. I mean, I have things to do. I don't need to be on the phone uh, with you. Nancy, 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 let me just say this. Your husband, Jeff, yeah. he's got one hell of a party plan. It's Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJR Radio. You're on the air. Good morning. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, my God. <laughs> so oh are you going to show God. your woo-woo? <laughs> this is your your husband's <laughs> Jeff Little Way. <laughs> Jeff, told us, Jeff told us to call you. Here's Little Way of <laughs> saying thanks for letting him have a party. Oh, well, I, you know, believe me, I already have a phone call into him at work, and um, I can't wait for him to call. He's, uh, he's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when he calls me back, I'll just... Uh, He'll be pretty excited when I cancel a Super Bowl. Oh! <laughs> Where'd he go, Nancy? Maybe I can put you guys up to calling him. <laughs> Nancy, you, you hold on the line, okay? Uh, Jeff, that might have backfired on you. <laughs> <laughs> Sully may be showing you his you, you who 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 yet. Something to consider when you do a Dirty Friday thing on somebody. The repercussions. It could backfire. <laughs> <laughs> it's 837. We are the wrong. Hello, this is Linda. How can I help you? Hi, uh, Linda. I'm, uh, this is uh, Tim Johnson calling, and I'm calling in regards to an invoice I received in the mail. Tom? Excuse me? Tom? No, No, my name is Tim. Tim Johnson. Tom, I know that. That sounds just like you, Tom. Come on. Come on. Why are you always doing these voices? No, seriously, I have no idea wh what you're talking about, ma'am. You sound just like my friend Tom. You know, this guy... <laughs> Tom. L Linda, I, I assure you, I don't know what you're talking about. Tom, I have a big weekend plan for you. I, I bet you do. Ma'am, I'm calling about... Okay, you got me. What? Okay, it's Tom. Okay. How so, are you? <laughs> I am so looking forward to this weekend. I got the jacuzzi fired up. You weren't really clear about what you want to do, but I know what I want to do to you. Well, what do you want to do to me? Ooh, well, I got the jacuzzi up around 100 degrees, mm -hmm. just above body temperature. Uh-huh. And I'm going to wear my thong underwear, mm, yeah. and we're going to slide in after a couple of glasses of champagne, mm -hmm. and then you're going to take the, the thong underwear off with your teeth, mm, baby. and then we're going to sit in there and stew. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Linda? What? I am looking forward to that. You don't sound very excited. Tom, a couple days ago, you were like all hopped up. You're like, oh, let's do something really special for this weekend. I got it all set up. All right. Hey, Linda? What? L Linda, what else are you going to do when I'm in the hot tub? Well, I'm not going to hold your head under too long because you've got to be able to breathe. You're going to be panting. <laughs> Linda. I'm going to have you panting in that jacuzzi like you never have before. I guess no one's in the office with you right now, is there? You well. Phone? You want to have some phone sex? Yeah. Yeah. Linda? Linda? This 
is Friday. I, mean, I am just so psyched for this weekend. Excited. It's been a rough week. Tom. Yeah. What do you want me to do to you? Oh, I want you to slide your hands up my thighs. Uh-huh. I'm going to spread my legs. Uh-huh. And Linda, when, when, yeah. I'm, when I'm doing that, you know what I'm going to do with my other hand? Ooh. Turn on the radio. It's Lamont Antonelli calling from KSJO Radio. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she told you what to do with that other hand. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me while I right. hyperventilate. Now let me ask you uh, something. <laughs> Tom must have a pretty good voice. That's all I can say. Huh? <laughs> she thought it was this guy she's going to be boning all no weekend. Kidding. Even though you tried to convince her yeah. you were. <laughs> Tom, don't do those goofy voices all the time. Hey, hold it. She insulted me. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to go make my way to the bathroom. I'll do traffic very quickly here. <laughs>